very special. Someone who's come a very long way. Yes, and here he is. Hi, and do you know who he is? Yes? No, no, it's not Michael Jackson. He's a what did you think? I wouldn't notice? Would you believe the things people do? Sue the pants off them. See this car? If I had the time, try and get hold of George. Charged? No, 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 no. I shouldn't bother. Don't worry. When you're born, your folks think you're amazing. Now, I don't want to say anything to disappoint you. For some reason, they're just not as excited about every little thing you do. Then, a few weeks later, maybe you lift your head up a tiny, tiny little bit. Your folks don't say, Look! The head! Quick, quick! Look! Quick, come quick, on, quick, 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 Wind forward a few years. You get thrown out and go from house to house asking for somewhere to be put up. So I think... You chuck your bag on the floor. Hmm? Slump down behind the dustbin. Huh? You cry. <laughs> your folks say. Lol. Quick, 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 quick. They're just excited. Both parents have a go at the same time. The little fool. He spends hours and hours in that dustbin. You look like a tramp. I don't want to be seen in the street with you. It didn't mean to be rude, Mr. Rosen, but he hasn't got a father, and he calls all men with beards hairy face. Now, let's get on. Rashida, where are you going? Richard! Let go of Tariq's ear. Yes, you, you. Who are you? No, David, we won't all pretend to bang. Wayne, Darren, I've been nutting all day long, but I couldn't sell Lenny. Anyway, how can we feed the children? There's only one thing we can do. Take them off to the forest and leave them there. We've got no money because you went nutting all day and couldn't sell any. Right, children. Today, we're all going to the forest to nut. <laughs> Here's some bread for you to eat when we get there. Who are you? You don't go to this school, do you? We seem to have a stranger in our midst. Pop into the kitchen and ask Mrs. Argyle if they could just possibly stop banging David and Samantha. Let's just laugh. Laugh. I can't stay to see you. I've got to see a mother who swallowed a girl. If they start banging again, Mr. Rollo will deal with it. I'm sure there'll be a very, very good, good audience. Mark was my best friend. I, I thought, thought he was great. One day, he tried to do me. And I loved that. It was warm and tight. tight. Me and Mark, we were out. Suddenly, he goes and grabs my hat and chucked it over the wall. He thought I was going to go and get it because he knew I liked that hat so much I wouldn't be able to stand without it. He was right. Ah! Your hat's over the wall. If I go home without my hat, I'm going to walk through the door and Mum's going to say, Where's your hat? And if I say, It's over a wall, she's going to say, Lol. Why didn't you go for it? I don't know. Sorry, Mum. Aren't you going over for your hat? There won't be another bus for ages. No. The bus stopped. I got on. Mark got on. You've lost your hat. Are you going indoors without it? I went home, walked through the door. Where's your hat? Over a wall. Mark chucked it over there. But you haven't left it there, have you? Yeah. Oh. The front doorbell rang. It was Mum. I shut the front door, put on the hat, walked into the kitchen. You don't need to wear your hat indoors, do you? She said. I will for a bit, I said. And I did. It was terrific. It's time, time for bed. So it's upstairs, into the bathroom, shut the door and yeah. Taps on. Flick water at the mirror. Yes. You hate. You hate. And there's drops of water on the mirror, yeah, and the drops start turning into drips, and one drip's going, going faster, faster than another drip. drip. And I think it's a bit like the horse, horse racing on the telly. So I start doing a running commentary, and here comes Long Bottom with the Long Bottom, and here comes Shorty Bum. Shorty Bum's closing on Long Bottom, and here comes Long Bottom, and Long Michael, Bottom's coming. Michael, what's the silly noise going on up there? Oh yeah, uh, sorry, Mum, I was just looking for the flannel. Here comes Long Bottom with the Long Bottom, and here comes Shorty Bum. I'm drilling for oil, yeah. Hey. You can't see the hole from the outside. That's amazing. Right, quick, wash the face. Clean the teeth. Mm. 
Don't do it, Michael. Don't do it, Michael. Bend you. Don't do it, Michael. Now that I want to bend you, Benny. Don't do it, Michael. Well, now I want to bend you, Benny. Michael, don't do it. Bend you, Benny. Michael, bend you. Bend you. No, I better not, actually. And then, off to bed. We sit down to eat, and the potato's a bit hot. So I, so I only put a little bit on my fork, and I blow. Till it's cool, just cool, then into the cool. <laughs> nice. And there's my bra. <laughs> He's doing the sass. Into the mouth. <laughs> None. 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 There's my mum. She's doing the same. None. 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 Till it's cool, just cool. Into the cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, but my dad. My dad. What does he do? He stuffs a great boom chunk of potato into his mouth. And then that really does it. His eyes pop out. He bobs his head up and down. He spits, spits a potato all over his plate. And he turns to us and he goes, Watch out, everybody. The potato's really hot. My brother is on the floor. Why is my brother on the floor? My brother, brother, brother is on the floor. Yeah. He's supposed to finish his beans on the floor. But he doesn't want to finish his beans on the floor. He says he wants his pudding. No! That's enough. So now my brother is on the floor. I give you one more chance to finish those beans on the floor. Or you don't go to Tony's. No! He's getting told off. I'm not. He's on the floor. If he wasn't. On the floor. He'd see me eating my beans. Be fucking keel over and die. If he looked really close, he might see a little tiny smile just at the corner of my mouth. But he's not looking. He's on the floor. It's not wonderful. Not wonderful enough to be sitting on the floor. Unless you're my brother. Tell him to clear the flap from under his bed. Mum says, Clear the fucking fluff out from under your fucking bed. Father says, You heard what your mother said. What? You heard, heard what, what your mother said. What? You heard what? what? Clear, clear the fluff out from, out from under your bed. bed. This fluff out. But we're talking about the fluff under your bed. bed. You will clear it up, won't you? No. No, I'm angry. So I say, Shut, shut your fucking mouth. mouth. It is shut. I can see it isn't. I can hear it isn't. Shut up, stinks. You can't rule my life. And he did. It was fat. <laughs> fucking God. You probably haven't heard of a band called The Village Stompers. This was before soul or R&B or soul or rap or soul or grunge. The Village Stompers only, only did one gig. March the 8th, 1962. Spare room. My, my place. place. Five suburban British boys. Our lineup was Dave, who could play rad blues on the piano. There was Dave, who could play clarinet. There was Dave, Dave who could play nothing, but who could wipe his face in exactly the same way as Dave wiped his face. There was Dave, who could play nothing. And there was me, who could play Dave. Dave. Let's get together on Sunday and have a session. When they came over, we all piled into the spare room. Dave got out his clarinet. <laughs> Dave brought some drumsticks. We didn't have any drums. So Dave was on cardboard box. Dave said he had seen a great guy on <laughs> maracas. So we put some pins into a coffee tin for him. And I got my mother's <laughs> nail and stuck it into the side of the table so that it could make a kind of boing. <laughs> Sound. Then my brother came in and said that he could play the recorder. Dave said, for goodness sake, you don't have recorders in jazz bands. It was okay because we were a bit short on solo instruments. What are we going to give a petite fleur? Hold it. We could record it. Fantastic idea. I set up our old recording machine and we were away. Clarinet, recorder, comb on paper, car, coffee tin and drawing pins and car inside of table. Boing. And then we got to the end and Dave said, Actually, my brother didn't sound too bad on recorder. And we all said Dave, Dave was fantastic. Then we played it back.
paragraph. It didn't really sound like jazz. We cut the next track. Dave was great on comb and paper <laughs> and sunglasses. I pulled that nail something wild, boing, boing, and my brother played the recorder. What should we do now? If we wanted to play something on our own, we could. Dave said, do you know something, Dave? What? If we had a piano, you could play some blues. And Dave said, I know, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I could. So we played back both numbers again. The soaring clarinet, the wailing recorder, the gutsy comb and paper, the urgent cardboard box and sunglasses, the biting coffee tin and drawing pins, and the, <laughs> the nail. Boing. Then we called it a day. The session was over. What with one thing and another, we never got it together Never again. Dave took up classroom tables. Dave, Dave bought a hat. Dave met the American at his church. My brother went out and bought a geological hammer. And here's me. There'll never be another band like it. Sunday, March the 8th, 1962. Spare room, my place. Historic. Shopping with Eddie was a nightmare. In the gap, little fella. So he goes. <laughs> he turns himself into a fat little bastard. In you get Eddie. I said, in you get Eddie. Squeeze. And off we go. We're wheeling past the baked beans. And he leans out and grabs a can. Beans. More beans. No, Eddie, we don't need any more beans. Beans, beans, beans. No, we don't need any beans. Beans. No beans, Eddie. He stops shouting, bins, 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 and leans out of his seat, arms waving. We whiz round the corner of the packs of chocolate wafers, and his chunky little bastard hand grabs a packet. Whee! Chocolate! Whee! Then there is an explosion. My chocolate! My chocolate! He turns into a little fat bastard again. In front of my eyes, he becomes a screaming little fat duck. Face going red, eyes getting swollen, back stiff, hands punching out, body heaving to and fro. A woman. You're a little bastard. You're horrible. My chocolate! Beans, beans, beans! There's a man over there hurrying to get to the kitchen rolls. Eddie is wrenching the bars off the trolley. Chocolate beans! My chocolate beans! The man who's trying to get away from me thinks he's being hunted by Eddie. Then one of the shelf stackers tries to be friendly. He looks at the screaming fuck called Eddie and winks. And does some useless trick with his finger. Thank you. Shelf stacker, brilliant finger move. She is making a fuss, isn't she? Eddie is veering about so much. The shelf stacker can't even tell it's a boy. Bins, 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 chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. The security men arrive. Eddie. Look who's come to get you. He looks. A woman. He looks. And he stops howling. <sighs> All around me, people relax. They smile, they chat. Everything feels nice and easy. When we get home, I find that I've forgotten to get bread. A screaming demon. A woman. Jam. One of the shelf stackers. Toilet rolls. Eddie. Eddie. Tuna fish. Money from the cash registers and cornflakes. Dinner, Dinner time, time, Eddie, Eddie I, I say. say what do you want? want? Beans! I go to the cupboard. He was right. We have run out of beans. Uh, Eddie, I'm sorry, but... Um, we've run out of beans. No beans. And he says... You fat fucking bastard. I want bins, 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 bins. Wake up, wake up. Your goldfish is dead. I rushed over to the tank. It wasn't dead. Your goldfish is dead. Oh no. It really is. Oh, oh no. no. Look, it is. I got up and there was my goldfish stuck on its side on the top of the water, mouth open, eyes staring, tail stiff, dead in my tank. Look, your goldfish is dead. Yeah. And all of me is feeling bad, feeling worse than bad. Terrible. Nearly crying. When people look up at the sky and say, look at that. <laughs> I wish I could get rid of them. I hear a funny voice going, kill your dad. OK. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't do it, mother. Well, no, I want to. <laughs> oh, can't get a moment's peace around here. I don't think it's funny. And if I used to laugh, why did I stop? My mum said, are you all right? I done saw a funny noise.
I've got spots in my eyes. I see them when I'm looking at you. If you see me staring at a white wall, that's what I'm doing. Looking for the spots in my eyes. Right, Mick. You go to prison. prison. Oh, right. Look, right, that's it. I am going mad. Mum, look at me. Okay. Watch the conquer. Watch the conquer. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Watch the conquer. Hard <laughs> oh, luck, Mum. Always knew you were a bit weak. Oh, no. Not one of those, not another little voice. It was my dad. And he's going. Never let me see you doing that again. I'm looking up at my dad and I'm going, Dad, look at me. Watch the car. What the fuck? And I suddenly catch sight of my brother's big face. And that's when we get into really big trouble. Trouble. Right. I'm going to bring you up from the wall bars. Ah. Why? My goldfish. He's dead. I don't care what. I'll snatch your fucking cock. Oh, you've gone all quiet. Go to bed, 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 go to bed. He doesn't stop. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. He goes on for ages. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. I try to talk to him. Hey, what do you want for your birthday, Brian? I don't know. What about your cock? No. Eat it. Don't want to. He's sitting on me. Are we nearly there? That's my ear. Don't scratch. Get off me. Don't do it. Ooh, I can't stand it. Quiet, please. My dad, my mum and my brother are dead. dead. I rushed over to the tank. My goldfish wasn't dead. It's just one of his tricks. Oh no! That's when my brain starts doing things. Come on, kill, kill me. Hmm. Not now, um, people are watching. I don't care, don't worry about it. Hmm, okay. Shut your eyes, take a deep breath. 